how the great have fallen. We were never great men. The greatness is subjective. Subservient to our own vision, and your vision was so impermanent. <laughs> is that women? It's my own creation in earnest. I'd be a luckier man if you'd had the place of mine to read with me. He could have learnt you something. Taught, Jay boy. He could have taught you something. Ah, uh, he means well. He always has. Now you take it nice and slow over there, Jay boy. Will do, Captain. Now what would the good Lord Almighty have to say about a liar like yourself? Leave him alone already. Oh, hell. You've done enough. Come on, Cass. Oh, hold on now. You already got in the money. Now let him go. Nah, 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 nah. I have information gathered in good faith that says this priest here. You're hiding something. A cache of gold, silver coins, doused in blood. Now, he was there when the Black Stallion went bad, and I believe he stowed away with the bounty. The priest has nothing, just what you already got. And yet, I ponder, why would a dying man lie? I ain't no liar. Oh, we'll get back to you. Pardon the confusion, but in this instance, I am referring to another man. A young man that was with the father on that train goes by the moniker of Boyd Williams. You wouldn't. And so now that we are on the level, and I do think your congregation's weeping for the poor soul as we speak, but how do you think those worthless sheep would feel knowing that their shepherd snatched a dying boy's every last penny? We didn't steal that boy's money. Nor did he earn it in tragedy. We were simply asked to deliver a shipment of medicine in his stead. He was too ill to make the journey himself. Well... Guess we did the boy a favor. <laughs> Come on now, priest. Is it worth it? I beg your pardon? Is it really worth it? All this? Is what worth it? Damn it, is the money worth your life? Is it worth hers? What about his? I don't know what money you speak of. He doesn't have any money. What are you saying? He knows what money we're talking about. You know, I know, he knows. You might as well tell him where it is. <laughs> Save us all the trouble. Besides, Father, my knees ain't what they used to be. Shut your damn mouth. He doesn't have a thing. This ain't no time to be playing games, boy. Then cut the shit. Prove you ain't a liar. Give him the money. You know what money I'm talking about. Then, uh, then they'll be on their way. Now don't go getting ahead of ourselves just yet. I'll answer for you then, priest. It ain't. The money ain't worth no one's life. Not today. Is it worth the blood on your hands? You'd be responsible for their deaths. I ain't no killer. Not no more. Your wicked deeds are your own. Hey, I'm talking to you too, Cass. Jay boy, ain't no one's life worth a thousand dollars. Not today. Then relinquish the money, and your conscience will be clear. Your soul, radiant. Just give him the damn money. I ain't no killer. A stubborn bastard, ain't he, Captain? Amen. Hey! Hey now! Don't you go doing something stupid, Captain. Hey, I love you like a brother and all, but I 
can't be having none of your fun business. <clears throat> Any time now, priest. Giving them everything we have. You already had it all. Please, sir, I beg you. Enough. Thousand dollars. It's a lot of money for a poor man. An innocent man. Bows be damned, I, I can respect that. I don't want to kill you. I myself hope to meet them uh, pearly gates one day. Alas. We must regress to our animal instincts. Our other means of making that stone bleak. I don't know what money you speak of. Jay boy! Finally! <laughs> Jay boy, you damn fool. Now you let her go. Don't do nothing worth regretting. Leave her alone. She doesn't know anything. And yet you seem to know a whole lot. The money. You know the thousand dollars? You won from Joseph back in Idaho. I'm a man of God now. I've given up all my mortal temptations. All right. Then what harm would it be in telling them how to get that money? I can't tell them how to get there. No man will find it without me. The Lord won't let me go down that path. Not without suffering. Why don't you just tell me where it is? And I'll write it down right here. No man will ever find that place without me. Go ahead, Cass. You can let him go. J-Boy can handle me. <laughs> nah. I am getting rather winded, and this damn sun is burning the back of my goddamn neck. Untie me. I'll take you to it. For an old page stashed in the saddle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Untie me. Jay boy, don't you take your eyes off that slippery devil. If he does anything, he blast the hole right through that young lady's breath. Uh, sure thing, Cass. I'm sorry, Captain. Now don't you go and do nothing stupid out there, Cass. Devil? Son of a bitch. What in the 
Hell. Should have read the row. Give me God damn it. Thank <laughs> you. 